Just got done with my team ride and they are nowhere to be found. After the uh, second sprint, I was just keeping a high cadence, about 200 watts with a uh, Bob. He's on a TT bike. We turned left on Woodbridge, decided to hit it, see if they could catch us. We had a little good gap. And uh, about halfway down Woodbridge, dro Bob dropped off, so I decided to hit it, keep going, and uh, made it to the end. Wow, woo, feeling it, feeling good. Hello humans, just got done with my team ride out in Stockton, it's been a long day, I worked, what did I work today? I worked 8 to 4 today at Starbucks, and then I raced home, grabbed my bike, got everything ready, and then shot to Stockton, about a 45 minute-ish drive, made it about 10 minutes before the ride, got kitted up and then we started the ride. Pretty good ride. My coach has done a really good job of making my plan stick to kind of how the ride goes, which is really cool to see. Today's ride, excuse me, 37 and a half miles as usual. Started out with a 15 minute warm up. excuse me again, 10 minutes tempo. Uh, usually on the warm up, I pull a little ahead of the group because my warm up's a little higher. I pulled up away on the warm-up and then as I did the 10 minute tempo I stayed away and they were in the distance I could see them still then I backed off for five they caught on and then it worked out perfectly to where about a half a mile before Peltier Road I attacked and I had a 20 minute effort I got away I turned left on Peltier I got a little past halfway down the road I was solo this time and about five or six guys caught me, but two of the guys were completely trashed. And so therefore it was four of us, it was myself, um, Bob Corrick, super duper like strong dude, was like pro for like 14 years. He was on his time trial bike. Fritz, our master, and Ward is also a cat four and a master. Once we hit the a little slight up right turn onto Blossom, which is like a frontage road in a way, or it's along the water, we dropped Ward and it was immediately a three-man break. Field completely gone. Um, Fritz was just hitting it hard. I mean, I was barely like 10 minutes into my effort um, and he was hitting it. It was really windy. Um, Bob was there, but it was mostly like me and Fritz taking turns taking pulls and Bob was kind of on the back trying to conserve energy and um, he just started riding again so he wanted to be there at the end <clears throat> so we pretty much hit it for another like 20 to 25 minutes all the way to the first sprint when we got around the first sprint Fritz like took off and got like a pretty good gap and I reacted a little like slow but I just had a super high cadence and wound it up and then clicked it up a couple gears and eventually caught him and got him right at the sprint. But he had a really good effort. Super strong guy, lots of years under his legs. After the first sprint, um, we chilled for a sec, everybody regrouped. Usually the people that get dropped, they go halfway and they meet us there at the sprint. And uh, so they were waiting there for us. We roll out and we're going towards Woodbridge Road. Um, super high cadence, like 96, like 180 watts, just chilling. And Bob kind of rolled up next to me and we were just chatting about how he had been pro for a long time and uh, how he took a break and how he coached and stuff. It was really, really nice guy. And uh, I noticed that we were like, just kind of like left the pack again. Like we just, they were way back and we were just like kind of cruising. So I was like, hey, you know, when we get to Woodbridge Road, maybe we can hit it and see if they can catch us. And he's like, oh, sure, yeah, I'm down. And so, like, we turned Woodbridge Road, started going after about one pull. 
um, I got back on for the second time and I noticed that I started to gap Bob and eventually he fell off so I just went for it and ended up soloing the end of the ride again which was really cool it was a really good uh, like mental push um, and a fucking amazing workout especially when I had to turn right before the last straightaway it was just all headwind uh, lots of wind today so only a tailwind on Woodbridge um, but great ride 21.7 average with an average 154 heart rate and a 92 cadence always good above 90 uh, average 242 on the watts for an hour and 44 minutes and burned about 1600 calories I got my second fastest time on the 16 mile time trial, which is 45.12. Um, I think I only averaged like 242 watts for that. But um, I was also, that counted some of the first sprint before we were spinning at a high cadence. And also I was spinning a 96 cadence at 180 watts for like a couple miles. So that put it down too. But once I turned left on Woodbridge, I mean, I averaged, I was above 250 probably almost the whole time to like three something. So it was pretty good uh, workout. As far as calories go, 4,400 calories, 87% carbohydrates, extremely high carb, 10% protein, 3% fat. So out of 4,400 calories, I've only eaten 12 grams total of fat today. And I'm riding better than ever. And I feel great after recovery. Um, this meal right here, consist of 1,775 calories after my 1,600 calorie ride. Meal tonight, 1,775 calories, 83% carbohydrates, 13% protein, 4% fat. One dish here has 52 grams of protein. This is dinner. I eat, like, I'm supposed to eat 56 grams of protein a day. This is one dish has 52 grams of protein, 340 grams of carbs, and just seven grams of fat. Phenomenal. That's a great way to recovery. So I just wanted to show you guys that I actually eat what I say I eat. If you can tell, I'm kind of sweating like I just ran a marathon. That's because I enjoy really spicy food and I always make my curry extremely spicy. So 1700 calories, high carb, low fat, down the hatch.